Hi guys, Andy here. So uh, quite often in the videos that I do in my car, people are asking what the car mount is that I use. And even quite often question on forums are, what's the best car mount? Um, for many years now, I've always sworn by Brodit. Um, comes in two different parts. One part is uh, the part that will fit your actual phone. And then uh, this part here is the bit that will specifically fit your car. So in my case, it's a Ford Mustang 2010. Um, it is made specifically to fit into part of the dashboard of uh, of my car or your car, whichever you choose, you know, whatever you choose. Um, so that clips into the dashboard, and then the second element basically screws onto the uh, the holding part. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just open up and have a look what's in the packet. So I've always found with Brodit, because they are made specifically for a certain car and for a certain device, um, we get a little alcohol pad here that's to help so you, know, you clean down the dashboard before you attach it. Um, you see it here, it's got sticky pad bits to kind of to help it be held in place on the dashboard. Um, we'll have to wait and see exactly how that's to fit in, but you can see it's kind of clippy bits at the top and the bottom. We do get some instructions. Uh, as much use as they are at this point. They're not specifically for my car. Those are just kind of general instructions. You can see like in the middle picture there, normally it clips around a vent or some something and you see a, on the little diagram in that case is to clip not actually over the vent but uh, to hook into the bottom of the vent and by the looks of it the top of the stereo fascia. So yeah, I mean, I like it just because it is, it's made specifically, so it fits, generally Brodit stuff fits very well, just to the cardboard. Let's have a look at the actual phone holder. So in this case, it's for the Nexus 6. Now, I've sort of been toying with, do I keep the Note 4, do I keep the Nexus 6? For quite some time, so I hadn't bought myself the proper the proper uh, car mount, um, which worked out quite nicely because then I went and bought a new car, so I might as well replace them both at the same time. You see here, so this one's the active mount because it's got the charger built into it you can get the passive mounts which are cheaper um, this particular one was i think 40 pounds i can't remember exactly the, for the car mount and then uh, sorry for the phone mount there's the screws that we use to connect it to the mount of the car um, i basically paid about 57 pounds in total i think the bit for the car itself was about 18 pounds and the bit for the phone was around 40 pounds and there's the instructions just kind of showing yeah, screw it on basically. But we'll uh, we'll get to that point when we get out to the car. So there, those are the two pieces. They connect together as such. Um, obviously, the cigarette charger bit won't be won't be sat in there. That'll be unwound and plugged into the cigarette charger. So at this point, we'll head out to the car and see how it fits into place. Right. So here we are in my car. I have with me what I hope will be the only tool I'm going to need. Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to try not to knock my camera over. Um, so here's the component that's going to fit onto the car itself. And it's basically going to tuck in, the bottom's going to tuck in. See the lip that there is there, it's going to tuck in and kind of pull away and then clip at the top to the vent. So first of all, I'm going to just remove the covers to the sticky foam bits of on the there we go. Now it's gonna take a bit of force to press in, so I hope I don't knock the camera over. So that's gone in. And that's that's now in place. Oh, alright, there goes the camera look. When the sun comes out, so you can't see too well. Let's move in a little bit. Now, I suppose the only concern for me that's effectively that's pulled away the uh, the, the the plastic just there. But that's how it's supposed to be. That's how they design it. So um, that's what they say to do, and that seems to be pretty sturdy. So then. We, uh, let's just get rid of the elastic band if we can. Put the screws there. 
Get rid of that. Elastic band gone. So, I have to separate the, that's the bit that's going to fix to there. So for now, I need to take off the bit that the phone itself is going to sit in. Like so. To make sure that bit of that bit doesn't fall out. That's what the oh well, okay. It's gonna no. I need to keep it in because I'm gonna screw it onto the. So then we need to get our little screws out again. Try not to knock the camera over. Try not to lose the screws as well is uh, fairly important. Right, what have I actually done? I've gone and got a smaller screwdriver, which I'm going to use to press. And hopefully make a little hole or a little dint for the screw, Oops. which the screw will then sit in while I try and kind of power it in. I've also got a slightly smaller Phillips head to put these screws in. Keep the bigger one for putting the mount back onto the to this. There we go, that's gone in. That's gone in quite nicely. So there we go. It's not perfect. Um, but then we're just gonna now Screw this back in. There we go. And obviously the actual, because this is the active mount, so the actual charger goes in there. Now we could play about and maybe we could do that look so that it keeps it a bit more out of the way. Let's just power on the car for a second. And hopefully, it's the right way around. That's interesting. This does okay. There we go. You can see the bottom, or actually, you might not be able to because of the reflection. That says charging. Charging on AC. So that's a good current coming through, that'll charge nice and nice and quickly. So there we have it. That can be moved a little bit if you uh, so desire. But that's the Brodit active mount. If I pull, there we go. So I can just slot it in and off I go. So a lot of people do ask what my car mount is, especially when, obviously when I'm doing videos in the car. And there you can see, that's the Brodit active mount in, well in this case, my Ford Mustang 2010 GT. Hi, my name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.